was a rich girl. See, I have all the money in the world. If I was a wealthy girl. Yes. All the money you bring. All the money you bring. All the money you can bring. Yes. If I was a rich black woman. If I was a rich girl, y'all won't be able to take me. Girl. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth just for a few seconds. Listen, I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. I'm probably not going to have the Love and Marriage Huntsville um, review up until probably, what's today? Today is Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. I may not have the review, uh, review up. Uh, I may not have the review up until tomorrow night. Um, I cannot find myself to sit there. Girl, I, girl, I got. Girl, I gotta get. Girl, it's too. It's too many men hit me up. <laughs> it's too many other men hit me up, and I ain't got time to be sitting here trying to concentrate. On this show and trying to take notes when these men hit me up. <laughs> Girl, when I tell you my jacked and grinded, it's just digging, 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 digging. Girl, just bells and whistles, girl. So, I got people to tend to. <laughs> okay, so I might have to just, we're going to have to just wait for the love and marriage. Um, Huntsville, as I like to call it, love and hip hop. Um, Huntsville, review tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. Let's start off with this. Let's start off with some white people news, okay? So Todd and Julie Chrisley report to federal prison, prisons to begin sentences. Ooh, so reality TV stars Todd, this is according to CNN. So reality TV stars Todd and Julie Chrisley are now in the custody of federal prison officials, according to their attorney, Alex Little. The couple who last month were sentenced in November to prison for fraud and tax crimes reported to their assigned prisons in Florida and Kentucky before the deadline on Tuesday, which was uh, noon local time, a uh, little told CNN. Todd Christie is serving 12 years um, at FPC uh, Pensacola, a minimum security facility in Florida. Um, Julie Christie is serving, a seven, serving her seven year sentence at FMC Lexington, Kentucky, which is described as an administrative security federal medical center with an adjacent min minimum security satellite. Girl, that's too much, girl. Girl, just say she probably ain't going to jail, jail, because that's what it sounds like. Um, satellite camp on the prison's website. The Chrisley's known for their reality star. I'm sorry, the Chrisley's known for their reality program. Chrisley Knows Best were found guilty in June in a Georgia court for conspiring to defraud banks out of more than $30 million in fraudulent loans. Y'all already know why they're going to jail. But this is what I wanted to um, tell y'all too. There was another article that I was reading. I was over here just, you know, just reading. And um, I wanted to tell y'all about this. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna read all of this. So I will put the links in the description box for, who the, for those who want to, I mean, if you want to, girl. Um, this is according to the Daily Mail. Um, inside Todd Chrisley's very strict prison schedule, reality TV star will uh, face um, four uh, 45 a.m. wake up calls, be required to make his bed military style and work while he's jailed. Ooh, girl. Ooh, Ooh girl. Hold up, let me get to that part. So they basically say after lights flip out at the crack of dawn, um, breakfast is served between 5 and 6 a.m. Um, inmates are served lunch at 11 a.m., dinner for an hour at 4.30 p.m. Um, and then it's mail distribution before inmates are sent back to their cells and lights go down at, 4th, at 10.30 
p.m. Chrisley will be able to, to, to participate in team sports, including volleyball, baseball, softball, volleyball, soccer, or weight, weight training. Uh, there are also activities like woodworking, arts and crafts, and academic classes. Um, the star will be allowed up to five visitors at a time uh, during even visiting hours on Fridays and during the day on weekends. Oh, girl. How far is this jail from, um, cause don't, don't they live in Nashville? So they have to, he's he gonna have to get up at 4.45 a.m. Um, go to bed by 10.30 p.m. And then I think he has to work. They have his work schedule and everything, honey. Can you imagine a rich white man? I mean, girl, how, now how he got rich, girl, okay? Um, girl, can you imagine, any, ooh, girl, that's any, anybody, honestly, girl, going to jail and having to be on this strict, 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 strict schedule, girl? Mm. I wonder if Tom, Tom probably won't have a time in his life. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Todd. Girl, Miss Todd probably about to have a time in his life. Uh, you know, all that BBC in there, girl. Ty, 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 probably about to have baby. When the lights go out. <laughs> I'm going to light that. Light switches over that, girl. Oh, I had a funny in my head. I was going I, I, I to sing the song and then I was going to make the lights go out, girl. I just thought about that. See, my mom be working like a, a million miles per hour. Um, I thought the light switch was behind me, but it's not, girl. <laughs> anyway, shout out a bit funny. Um... Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm sure Todd gonna be okay. I'm sure Todd gonna have a time in his life. Girl, I hate, I know every, I know some of you have been in prison because some of y'all have told me, you know, some of you um, have told me that you have, you know, been to prison and all that, you know, stuff. So, you know, stuff happens. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time this girl told me I used to work at Ace Cash Express it was a black girl a black woman she came in and she was hot because her brother had basically got in trouble and went to prison and she was complaining about how <laughs> how since he he didn't want to do right now he inconveniencing me <laughs> now I gotta stop what I'm doing to try to help him out and put some money on his books because he didn't want to do the right thing. Inconveniencing me. <laughs> I said, I know that's right. I said, I know that's right. So all I'm saying is this. Girl, let's see how far. Because I think they live in Nashville, right? Don't his kids live in Nashville? Nashville, Tennessee. Let's see how far that drive is to Pensacola. Pensacola, Florida. Let's see. Here we go. Ooh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It could be anywhere from six hours to 33 minutes to eight hours and 44 minutes. And then, when, of course, when you, um, you know, you tap in, you know, a little restroom break here and there, girl, that's probably going to add an extra hour getting gas and stuff. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And what that hoe at? No, girl. What a girl. What a thieving asshole at? What's her name, Julie? Where's she gonna be at? Let's see. She gonna be in. Um, I just read it. Where is she gonna be located? Kentucky. We're in Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. I feel like that. I feel like that's not that. I don't know why I feel like that's right up the street from Nashville. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about that. Okay, hold up, Lexington. Oh, here we go. I feel like it's right up the street for some reason. Okay, that's not too far from them. That's three hours and nine minutes. Girl, that's still a long. Girl, that's a lot. Can you imagine? Can you imagine having to? I hate, I'm about to say something that's going to sound still. That's going to sound real mean. Shout out to everybody who's in prison and got out of you living your life right. Uh, you, at least you should be trying to, girl, because I know you don't want to go back. Um, girl, I couldn't imagine having to stop what I was doing <laughs> every Sunday or even once a month to get in my car and drive to go see somebody. Girl, that's six, that, that's three hours and nine minutes from Nashville. Cause I think Todd and them live in Nashville. That's why I'm saying Nashville. 
I know they used to live in Atlanta, but I think they moved from Atlanta when the streets started getting hurt. <laughs> they should have went to Bali, okay? They should have went to Bali. Ain't that where Russell at over there? When the streets got hot, they took their ass down to Nashville like they was going to do something. <laughs> I guess they wanted to blend in with the white folk um, down there in Nashville. But from Nashville to Lexington, that's three hours and nine minutes. Or it can be up to four hours and one minute. So that's not that far. They probably gonna go see their mama more than they see their daddy. <laughs> girl, it'll be girl, it'll be hell on wheels. So we trying to go see both to, to, to go see air one of them quarters. That's good. That's a lot of driving. That's a lot of inconvenience in me to come to come see you. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot, y'all. Y'all don't think that's a lot? Tell me what y'all do. I mean, I would probably do it once or twice. I, I come and see you like once every like three months, four months. I couldn't do it no every month. Three hours, that's one thing. And you're gonna have to either be putting a lot of miles on your car or either keep renting cars. What y'all think? Just stay out of trouble, honey. <laughs> then you ain't got to worry about me. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about nobody trying to test our friendship. <laughs> you can't just stay your ass out of trouble. <laughs> You ain't got to worry about a ride to go come see me or not. Because <laughs> that's going to be the test of my friendship right there. <laughs> bitch, I can't make it. <laughs> I got work to do. Girl, I got to go live, girl. I told, I, I told, girl, I told the people I was going live. Girl, I got to go to work. Girl, I ain't going to make it today. Girl, I told, I told I was going to go live at 4.14. <laughs> girl, girl, I ain't going to make it. Girl, like I, really, like I really can't push the live to another day. Girl, I ain't going to make it, girl. Ooh, MC Light granted ownership of music catalog amid divorce settlement. I'm going to be a tad bit messy. Okay. MC Light 52 is single again. MC Light's marriage to John, whatever his last name is was a short one dissolved due to irreconcilable, irreconcilable differences. The rap icon filed for divorce from her husband in August 2020 after three years of marriage. The official court documents read, irreconcilable differences have arisen between the parties which have led to the breakdown of their marriage, blah, 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 girl. Um, MC Light keeps her clothing, jewelry, watches, and personal effects in her possession custody or control in earrings and accumulations before the date of marriage, during the marriage and post-separation, her Subaru. <laughs> That's right. I was not expecting to see Subaru. I was expecting to see like a... Girl, I know, girl. MC Light live, living in with her means, girl. I know that's right, MC Light. I, was, I wasn't expecting to read Subaru. I ain't nothing wrong with robbing on Subaru. I just want to make it very clear, girl. But I wasn't expecting to see MC Light you know, over there fighting for that Subaru, baby. Um, financial accounts in her name, all furniture, furnishings, and other personal property and her possession, possession, custody, or control. She also gets to keep her term life insurance policy. I know that's right. The life as a rock rapper who became successful in the 90s. We're not going to go over, I'll go over that. I'll go over that. The Grammy-nominated artist met her husband on Match.com and married in August of 2017 in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Um, John claimed he had no clue that he was dating a celebrity until his friend advised him to Google her. In a previous interview, he said, at the moment I asked the Lord for my wife for the first time. The following week, week I met Lena. Last week, the former Marine seemingly didn't want to sign the papers to let the Brooklyn native free. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm actually still going through with it, she admitted at the time. Um, I think when uh, she got a I think when the press got a hold of it, I think people were, um, people thought they were still together. I had just filed, so we're still going through it with the girl. Whatever I just read, child, listen. Girl, quiet as it's kept. Girl, I always stop, girl. Girl, now I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. Girl, I always thought, girl, MC Life was a, Girl, this whole time. Girl, I remember when I found out she got married, I asked what was her name? Because I wanted to see her wife. 
I wanted to see MC Light. Girl, I'm not, y'all not gonna sit here and act like I'm the only one who thought MC Light was a lesbian. God, no. I'm not the only one. When they said that lady got married, I wanted to see two beautiful black brides. That's what I thought I was gonna see. Or at least a white woman, girl. God, I was like, girl, I was thinking I was gonna see two. I thought MC Light was gonna be in a tuxedo and Fish was gonna be in a dress. But I looked up and, girl, <laughs> she was in the dress and she had a man beside her. I said, girl, girl, this whole time I thought she liked women, girl. <laughs> I thought she liked women, girl. We both like niggas. That's why we got to stop acting like we know people's business because we won't be knowing people's business. We be thinking just because the girls, we be thinking just because the girls, you know, look like they can beat us up, that they don't like men. As far as I'm concerned, I still think the health is a lesbian. <laughs> That's why she was married. Just like that. <laughs> just between you and me, girl, don't tell nobody this. Just between me and you, bitch. I think the bitch is a lesbian. <laughs> That's why she was only married to that man for a couple of weeks anyways. Because deep down, girl, deep down, <laughs> deep down, <laughs> okay, she want a woman. She don't want no comfort of a man. I want the comfort of a man. Oh, yes, I do. I need, I need, I need comfort of a man. No, nah, baby, she wants the comfort of a woman, baby. Baby, MC Light want a bitch stand, stand beside her. I said, Tama, she playing around my waist. Shout out to Rihanna, girl. That's what, that's what MC Light be listening to. I said, Tama, she went up and out of my waist. Shout out to MC Light, girl. Shout out, shout out to MC Light. MC Light was married to a man, honey. I am shocked. Girl. All right, y'all. After a University of Alabama basketball player is charged in the... M-U-R-D-E-R -E of a 23-year-old woman. Her mother shares what led up to the, to the fatal shooting. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> All right. After University of Alabama basketball player Darius Miles was charged with M-U-R-D-E-R in -E the death of 23-year-old mother um, and removed from the team, the victim's loved one says that she was shot and K-I-L-L-E-D. Girl, she was shot and killed, girl. I'm tired of spelling that stuff. When she declined a man trying to flirt with her. Miles, 21, and Michael Lynn Davis, 20, were arrested and charged with capital in, shooting, um, in the shooting death of Jamia Jonay Harris near the university campus early Sunday. Um, Miles was the only person connected to the University of Alabama involved in the shooting, Authority said. The university's athletics department announced Sunday that he has been removed from the basketball team. When police responded to the shooting around 1.45 a.m. on Sunday, they found Harris had been fatally shot while she was in a car less than a half a mile from the campus. Harris and her boyfriend, um, had driven to Tus Tuscaloosa, is that, how, is that how you say it? Tus Tuscaloosa, from Birmingham to visit her cousin, who was a student at the University of Alabama. Um, Harris' boyfriend told Cotton the three of them were getting something to eat after a night out when a man approached Harris and started flirting with her. He was advancing on her and she declined his attention. He refused to go away. Cotton told CNN when they were attempting to leave, one of the uh, gentlemen walked up to the car and started shooting. Harris' boyfriend shot back and hit one of the suspects. The suspect later went to a local hospital, which uh, helped connect him to the shooting. <sighs> Y'all get what happened. I'm not reading the rest of this. 
I'll put the link in the description box. You know what I want y'all to start doing? <laughs> Let's just have some kitchen table talk. Just for a few seconds. <sighs> Between me and you, girl, <laughs> I want y'all to stop worrying about your sons possibly growing up to be a punk and start teaching them about rejection and start teaching them that no means no and start teaching them that they don't have access to a woman. They are not, they, they're not, um, just because they're a man does not mean that, that that's a woman automatically has to give them attention, their number. These niggas are psychotic. It's sad to the, it's, it's to the point where like a girl can't even, like you can't even say no to something. Like girl, people say no to me all the time. You think everybody I hit up on Jacked and Grinder and Scruff and A for A and all the other <laughs> apps I'm on while I'm here? Girl, <laughs> you think everybody responds to me? No. Do I get mad? No. Bitch, I just hit up the next nigga. You know how many niggas on Grinder? You know how many niggas on Jacked? <laughs> Girl, it's too bad for me to be getting help in because three or four of them didn't, talk, didn't respond to tell me no. Girl, it's not that deep. It ain't never been that deep. Y'all sons out here killing these black girls because they can't have access to them. But instead of you trying to teach your son, I'm not, I'm, and I'm, I, that's what I'm saying, like, and you know what's so crazy? And not to go off into a rant, but you know what's so crazy? Like, people scream that a man can only teach a man how to be a man. So when you have these men in these boys' lives, what are they teaching them? Because they're not, they're only teaching them toxic ways of masculinity, really. They really are. They're not teaching them how to be kind. They're not teaching them how to treat girls. And when they grow up to be men, how to treat women. They're not teaching them how to relate to people. They're teaching them like blue face. Blue face, it was a video. I'm not even going to post a video because they got a child in it. But blue face was with his son at a, at a convenience store. And he was recording his son, telling his son to cuss. If he cussed, he, could, he would buy him some candy. And the little boy was like, no, I can't say, you know, I can't say a bad word. Mommy, mom, I'm, you know, mommy, I can't say it. Mommy won't let me. And he was like, I'm your daddy. You can say it, say it, say a cuss word. Say it, say it, say a cuss word. Say it, say it. And I remember I saw another clip like a month or so ago of some black guy giving his son like, some type of sex drink, I guess that gets kind of like by average, or something like that. It was something weird. I think Erica was talking about it, but I already saw like the clip on Twitter, like a packet. I guess it gives you, I guess it gives you energy to have sex. Now, mind you, the little boy looked like he was what nine, ten. <laughs> I don't know. So like. <laughs> In Darius's case, if he had a father in his life, what was his father teaching him? Clearly, what? It's like Brandy. It's like Sonya. Look at Sonya. Sonya, so, so, Sonya, Sonya had a husband. I don't know this thing I don't do with Brandy. I just want to use him as an example. Look at Sonya and Willie. And look how Ray J turned out to be. I just think that people should do a better job. I get that, like, whenever you're, ch I, I get, cause I, I, I get it, cause I experienced it. Okay, I was a child once upon a time, and I understand that girl, 
the people around you can only do so much because once we get into school, you know, it's kind of a wrap, you know, because the truth of the matter is, girl, a lot of times we see our classmates more than we see our parents, especially if you have working parents, right? So if everybody leaves the house and if you're a single parent, girl, you might not see your kids for a few hours a day. Get up in the morning, get everybody ready for school. You know what I'm saying? They go to school. You might, you probably work the late shift. So they get out of school, you at work, you come home, you know, hopefully they in the bed. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, depending on what your situation is, girl, you might not even see your kids. And your kids at that point, especially like I said, when we get in school, girl, we all been in school before. We know how we, we know how this shit go. And you can just hope and pray that, girl, you did what you could do. And hope that they, you know, don't fall to the wayside of falling with the wrong crowd. His ass needs to go to jail, though. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Motherfucker. Y'all kill me. Girl, no means no. It's okay. I told you one time I was at work. Um, this is when I worked at Nordstrom. Um, I was in the lingerie department. And I still remember, it was a black girl and it was a black guy. The guy was African. Um, she worked in the lingerie. We was all, she worked in the lingerie department. It was a real, she was a real cool girl. This guy asked her for her number. Why he called? Why he called her phone right in front of her face, bitch? Why I sit there and look like bitch? He literally it was like, "I'm about to call you right now to make sure you didn't give me a, give me a wrong number." Called her phone right there in front of her face. Oh, girl, you need to block him, girl. <laughs> girl, that's girl, that's red. That's red flag number one, two, three, four, five, and six, bitch. But he know when you work, girl, so he might pop up at your job. These niggas are crazy. I have never done that before. I don't know. I can deal with rejection. Y'all need to start teaching y'all sons. Y'all so worried about them sucking dick or getting a, 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 a girl <laughs> sucking dick or a girl getting, getting their pussy broke in, girl. That girl, y'all ain't teaching them shit. But toxic ass ways of how to be a man. I said, girl, Blueface is going to be so disappointed if his son does not grow up to be just like him. Disappointed. So disappointed. I hope I ain't got no neighbors. Because right now, ain't nobody in this room. Ain't nobody in this room. So, girl, I need to have some company over tonight. <laughs> Girl, let me pack this shit up, girl. I've been saying that since last night. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.